Let's take a quick look around Docker Data Center and some of its major components. Now first up, Docker Data Center is a comprehensive container management and orchestration platform and it's ideal for all types of enterprise Docker environments. The solution's effectively a combination of a container management layer with a powerful UI and an on-premises registry for secure image management and distribution, one that you've got full control of. Plus, it includes an extensive set of enterprise security features. Cool, well, let's take a look. Well, this is the login page, and we'll see how this can be integrated with your existing corporate LDAP and AD systems in just a minute. But this is the main dashboard. It's all about giving you that quick, high-level view of the system. So nodes, services, and containers, and then CPU, RAM, and storage. Then we've got the navigation bar up here. So resources is where we come to view, create, and add, and generally manage the things down on the left here. So networks, and nodes, and images, and services, and all of this stuff, right? So we can see we've got a grand total of one service running, though we can throw in system services as well if we want. We can see containers. I guess we can inspect and manage them if we need to as well. We can look at images. We can pull new ones. We can even get rid of old ones as well. Then we can add new nodes, remove nodes, see the existing config of one, usage details, plenty of stuff. And pretty much the same with networks, volumes, secrets, and applications. Okay, then we've got users here. We can manage permissions. We can enable and disable accounts, change passwords. You know what? Everything you'd expect to be able to do with users. Then we can manage teams, their members, permissions. Again, everything you'd expect from a role-based access control system. Then under admin settings here. We've got all of the other things that relate to the setup. So, for instance, here we can grab and rotate swarm join tokens. We can manage certs, configure logging, authentication. Actually, now managed here is a local user database, but LDAP, this here lets you integrate with any existing corporate directory services that you might already be running. Uh, what else? I mean, licensing's licensing. We can configure usage reporting. You can control scheduling of containers on certain node types. Ah, content trust. This might be of interest from a security perspective. So checking this box here will mean that only signed images can run on the cluster. And then here you can say who needs to sign them. You can configure the routing mesh and then a few more cluster config options. Well, that's UCP, but let's quickly look at Docker Trusted Registry as well, because this is also an important part of Docker Data Center. It's your own private, secure image registry, so one that you've got control of and can even run inside of your own firewall and the likes. So, these are some of the repos we've got on this one. A couple here belong to the Skunkworks organization, and look, some of them are configured for image scanning. And if we drill in a bit to this Linux base one, and then under Settings, See how it's currently private, and here are the options for image scanning. Then we can see organizations, there's users, and these are shared with UCP, by the way. So all of these users that we can see here are also available within UCP. And then settings, this lets us configure the usual things like updates, licenses. Uh, do we want to store images locally on the server here in AWS, Azure, Swift, even the Google Cloud? Then this here is where we enable image scanning at a global level, though we do still have to manage it per repo and then some garbage collection settings. So yeah, that's a quick tour of the major components of Docker Data Center. To learn more, come and visit us at www.docker.com enterprise.